Hey guys, I'm still alive, and I found a new trick for you. Have you ever wondered how Mr. Beast, Mark Rober, and other big YouTubers put one word at a time on the screen and track what they say very quickly? And you thought to yourself, I should be able to do that, but it takes so long to do. Well, I found a way to make that process really easy, really simple, and it has to do with closed captioning in Premiere Pro. Let's jump to the computer. For this example, we're gonna be using a video that I just shot on my iPhone, but I wanted to spice it up just a little bit by adding some words on the screen that would just pop up on the screen and then pop down, pop up and pop, does it? But I didn't wanna spend a ton of time on it. And so to do that, I'm gonna use the caption feature in Premiere Pro. Now I'm here looking at the computer and it's set up on the captions workspace. To get to the captions workspace, you're gonna go over to the top right and click on this little workspaces icon and make sure that you're selected on the captions workspace. What you wanna do from there is you wanna select the area that you're working on and press the little question mark button so that you select everything here. Now what you'll do after you've got everything selected is you'll go up to transcribe sequence the settings that you'll make from this point on really matter a lot. So for my language, I have English because that's the language that I'm speaking. Audio analysis, I wanna analyze the audio on the track and I wanna analyze the mix. I could just analyze audio one because that's the only one that's there, but I'm just gonna stick with mix for now. I'm going to transcribe the entire timeline and I'm gonna click on transcribe. We'll wait for Adobe to make a transcription of what I said in this clip and that could take anywhere from 10 seconds to a couple minutes and we'll wait for it to come back and it's back already and what i like to do from this point is just to read everything it says up in the transcription as i play the video and as you'll see when i play this video it's going to highlight each word and i could actually click on a word and it'll take me to that point in the video which is really cool i love that feature but i wanted so right there, you audibly heard that I said I won in two categories. But when Adobe heard it, it heard I went in two categories. So I'm gonna change went to one. And over here, I can see that this fits is not the right English translation of fits. So the Z is supposed to be an S because fun fits, not fits. So I'm gonna keep going through this and make sure I've got all my spelling errors corrected and I will be right back. As a side note, I really love being able to spell check in this format because it makes everything just right there like a document, really easy to read and easy to edit. Now what we need to do is to create a caption file based off of this transcript. And to do that, we're gonna hit create captions and you need to make sure that you're on subtitle default and subtitle format. Um, so the caption preset, subtitle default format, subtitle. Once you've created the subtitles, you'll be able to edit the style, change the fonts, change the background and that kind of stuff. That's why that's important. The other thing that's important is down here at the bottom, the max length in characters. We're gonna bring that all the way down to seven. We're gonna bring the minimum duration in seconds all the way down to as low as it goes. And then the gap between caption frames is gonna be zero and we're gonna change the lines instead of double to single. And then we're gonna hit create and it's gonna create us a caption file way up here at the top. And as you can see, each one of these captions are really small. You, some of them might have more than one word on it, but it's because I said it really fast and I could go in here with my razor tool and chop that up and make it say what I want it to say, but I'm already well ahead of the game. And let's look at that. Let's see how well it tracks those words. I just got an email that AJ Williams Media won an award. It tracked it pretty well, but you might notice that it's really small on the screen. I want it to be large and just out front of everything. So what we can do from here to stylize it, we're gonna go to the captions. We're gonna just highlight all of those and you'll see over here in our essential graphics window, we've got everything that we need to stylize the text. Let me go over here to where some text is and I'll redo that. So from here, we can either change the zone of where the fonts are or we can literally just take one of these position markers and move it. I think moving it negative moves it up. So 
I want it to be kind of right there, about chest high for me. And then I'm gonna change the font type to, I think I like impact, but I want to make it all caps. And now we'll go up in size. Now, one thing you'll see is like, if you go up too high, then it will do double lines. And if you go too high, then it'll just do start doing single letters. And that's what you want to not do. So you got to kind of find a balance. I'm going to add some shadow. Uh, shadow's already there. So I'm just going to raise that up and give it some blur. Looks pretty good. Some people might want to add a background and that's really easy to do. I'll show you how to do that. Just select them all again. Um, we'll put in a background and can change the color of it. I'm gonna just do like a purple. Yeah, like let's do a purple background. We can scale it up so that it goes above where the letters are. Change the opacity to 100%. We can round the edges. There's no end to the creativity that you can do with this method because you've just saved a bunch of time. I know that I've done projects where I was doing exactly this and this part of it, just the timing of putting in words took me the entire day. The last thing you'll need to do is to export this properly. And there is one extra step that you'll need to do to export this with the captions on the video. So we'll hit Command M, that'll take us to our export screen, or you can just hit this little thing up here. That's a new feature in Premiere Pro 2022, which we'll talk about that later, this whole export screen in another video later, but that's a topic for that video. The one thing that you'll need to do differently is to make sure that the captions are on and that you're burning it to the video. So now, You'll see it here on the export screen. When you burn it to the video, it's actually gonna create the graphics on the video like you want it to. And that's it, you hit export and boom. If you wanna see how this video turned out, I've actually uploaded it to my YouTube channel already as an unlisted video, but you guys have the privilege of watching it if you click it right here. If you've got any questions, put them down in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them like I always do. And if you wanna learn more about actual captions and not just subtitles that you're making for graphics, you can click right here.